I'm still looking going I'm still looking forward to win other matters. Uganda, the nation that produced world class athletes like Steven Kibritich, Davis Kamoga, and more recently, five thousand meter world record holder Joshua Cheptegei. This nation's passion for running is booming, and among those young talents, none shines brighter than Jacob Kiplimo. But Kiplimo is not only a standout amongst his Ugandan peers. On the world stage, he has demonstrated why he is the future of distance running, and at barely 19 years of age, he is ready to cement himself among the all-time greats. With the Olympics quickly approaching, Kiplimo is in the best shape of his life and ready to take on all contenders. He'll be vying for gold and will need to be taken seriously by any and all competitors alike. Is it possible that we are in the presence of one of the all-time greats? Can Jacob Kiblimo fulfill his potential and write his name in the record books? To answer this question, we need to dive a bit deeper into who exactly is Jacob Kiblimo. Kiplimo hails from a remote village in Bokuo, eastern Uganda. The region known as the Sebai region is a place that dominates Uganda's distance running and where stories of people running barefoot to school are almost a matter of everyday occurrence. It's reported that Kiplimo himself would run more than 4 kilometers to and from his school from a young age. Kiplimo first became known to the athletics community in 2016 when at the age of just 15, he won the 10,000 meter bronze medal at the 2016 IAAF World Under 20 Championships despite competing against athletes who were for the most part several years older than him. Kiplimo's performance qualified him to the Olympics as only a 15 year old, the youngest Ugandan Olympian ever. He was competitive in the semi-final heats but did not manage to make it to the Olympic final. Nevertheless, this experience fueled Kip Limo's hunger and he quietly went back to work. At the age of 16, Jacob Kip Limo responded and came back to produce a performance of a lifetime to win gold in the men's under 20 race at the 2017 IAAF World Cross Country Championships in his home nation of Uganda. This was the country's first ever gold medal at a World Cross Country Championship and announced to the world that Kip Limo was for real. The following next months, proved to be some of the most difficult of his career as he battled through plateaus and injuries, but he surpassed these challenges and came back to compete in the 2018 IAAF World Track and Field Under 20 Championships, placing 6th in the men's 5,000 meters and 2nd in the men's 10,000 meter race. But his training was once again interrupted by a nagging heel injury and he was unable to compete in his next scheduled event at the African Championships. Following this extended layoff in 2018 due to injury, Kiblimo came back even stronger the following year and defeated none other than Joshua Cheptegei himself, the now 5,000 meter world record holder. This was done at the Ugandan Cross Country National Championships. And just a few weeks later, he traded off places with Joshua Cheptegei himself again and came in second only to his compatriot in the IAAF World Cross Country Championships. Kibilimo was clearly in the best shape of his life and as only an 18 year old had finally arrived as a threat at the world stage. His first order of business was aiming to double at the 2019 Doha World Championships. But this was not to be as Kibilimo would suffer an injury in his build up in training and was forced to sit out the championships. Now moving forward in 2020, fully fit and recovered from all injuries. The 19-year-old competed at the Ostrava Golden Spike Race where he won with a time of 12.48 at the 5,000 meter distance to beat his longtime rival Selman Burega from Ethiopia. This performance put Kiblimo 12th all time at the 5,000 meter distance and more impressively, he's doing this as only a 19-year-old. With the 10,000 meters being arguably his best event, it's anyone's guess to what heights Kiblimo can climb. 
fulfill his potential and achieve greatness, he'll have to deal with a group of talented athletes who are also vying to be the future of distance running and claiming throne to be the best distance runner worldwide. One such challenger is Salomon Borrega. Only 20 years of age, he was already a silver medalist at the men's 5,000 meters at the 2019 World Championships. The 5,000 meter world junior record holder and the fifth fastest man over the 5,000 meter distance all time. Ronix Cabrudo, only 20 years old, and he is already the 2018 10,000 meter world under 20 champion, the 2019 10,000 meter world bronze medalist, and his 10 kilometer road race personal best of 26.24 set in Valencia, Spain, is a current world record for the event. Yomif Kajalcha, 23 years of age, silver medalist at the men's 10,000 meters at the 2019 World Athletics Championships, a former World Junior Gold Medalist, and the current World Indoor Record Holder for the mile distance. And perhaps the biggest challenge of them all, Joshua Cheptegei. Recently turned 24, he is the reigning World Cross Country Champion and a gold medalist at the 10,000 meter men's final at the World Championships. He also holds a 5K road race and the track 5,000 meter world records. It's quite likely that these five athletes, Salman Brega, Yomif Kajalcha, Ronix Kibruto, Joshua Cheptegei, and Jacob Kiblimo himself will dominate distance running from the 5,000 meter distance all the way to the marathon distance over the next decade. But who will come out on top? There is good reason to believe that Jacob Kiplimo can be the best of them all. He is the youngest of all of these competitors, with Kajalcha and Cheptegai being the older statesmen in his new crop of world elite runners, and Borega and Kibuto being generational talents at such a young age. Kiplimo is already on their level, and outstandingly, he is even younger than all of them. Secondly, Kiplimo's development has been slowed by injuries two of the last three years. Without these injuries, it's anyone's guess as to what he could have achieved over the last two to three years. It's probable that he would have added a world track medal in Doha in 2019 and perhaps even pushed for a world record like Kibruto and Cheptegei have done over the last calendar year. Thirdly, he'll have the opportunity to train and learn from another all-time great in Joshua Cheptegei himself where they can push each other to even greater heights. Fourth, Kiplimo has already proven capable of beating the other runners on this list. He just recently beat Borega at Ostrava and previously defeated him multiple times at various cross-country disciplines. In this matchup against Salomon Borega, Kiplimo has a clear results and psychological advantage. Kiplimo's head-to-head -head duel with Ronix Kiprudo is a bit more complicated. He was defeated in 2018 over the 10,000 meter distance at the under 20 world championships when he finished 1-2. However, in their most recent matchup, Kiblimo bested Kibruto on the cross country course at the 2019 world cross country championships, showing that he had closed the gap and perhaps surpassed Kibruto himself. And finally, Jacob Kiblimo has beaten the man who seems invincible as of late. Joshua Cheptegei's last race lost came against Kip Limo himself in 2019 at the 2019 Ugandan National Championships. Cheptegei revenged that loss a few weeks later, but by a very small margin. As it stands now, Cheptegei is the undisputed new star of distance racing, taking over the mantle left from Mo Farah's departure. But despite Cheptegei's incredible form, one has to imagine if he will reign supreme or if one of these new challengers will come for his place at the top. Kiplimo is as good a bet as any, and as we head into the final months of preparation ahead of the Tokyo Olympics, it will be interesting to keep an eye out on Jacob Kiplimo. Could he be the next man to dethrone Cheptegei? And could we just, maybe, be witnessing the rise of one of the all-time greats? The talent is clearly there. Now we'll just have to wait and see if he can put it all together. Thanks for watching the video so far. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Leave the comments below if you have anything to add to the video. We'll see you next time.